Okay, good Sunday morning, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Um, as it's a day we all remember our moms, whether they're here or they're gone from us. But um, anyway, um, I got out of work late last night. I was home here about 1 o'clock in the morning. And, um, you know, turned on the computer. Um, watched a video by Gemini888 about um, shout-outs for the little people. I want to thank Gemini for um, shouting out uh, both my channels, the Iceman's Return channel and Jeffrey Rose, a.k.a. the Iceman V2013 channel. Very, very much appreciated. Um, and Gemini did mention the fact that, you know, some of the bigger channels had made it a point to say that they're not going to shout out the little channels. And... The issue with that, which I've always said, is um, the littler guys are the ones that made you the bigger guy. But then again, I can follow up and say that, that everybody's pretty much equal here on YouTube. No one's better than anybody else. I mean, you may like a channel better than another, but I don't consider anybody, you know, other than equal here on YouTube. So it was a great video by Jim. And also, it followed up by even another great video by Boston Fan 79 v one Chris um, talked about uh, YouTube and the camaraderie uh, that is basically needed. And he talked about Gemini, and he also talked about yours truly, the Iceman, and he had my back. I very much appreciate that, Chris. Um, and that's the thing. Um about YouTube that when you're on here for a while and you get to know people, you um, grow this friendship and you may not have ever met this person in person, but it's almost like you have because you converse with them on a daily basis, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or whatever. And after a while, I mean, it's almost like you've met them and you've known them. And, you know, um, Chris has proved, I think, that camaraderie here on YouTube can be bigger than the negativity which is throughout the social network and with that being said it it just goes to show you that it's not all negativity here on YouTube or Facebook or whatever social network that you choose to be on and you know you do you do make friends and these friends have your back and that's you know something that um when you know that, it's something that, um, it's very important, and uh, it's really nice to know as well, so, you know, again, uh, a lot of things going on, uh, but I, you know, after all this being said, I want to talk about, um, Alexander Rusev and Lana, of course, in the WWE. And as of now, Rusev is just like squashing everybody. And I've seen this happen so many times in the past. And, you know, even the past way back that a promotion will bring up somebody that was just, that just devastates everybody. But it gets to the point where the people that he wrestles, his opponents, aren't the guys in the upper echelon. So after a while, you say to yourself, well, you know, big deal. I mean, so for an example, say if Alexander Rusev wrestles the likes of maybe a Zack Ryder, and nothing against Zack Ryder, but he is not one of the the major players in the WWE. But if he continues to wrestle and squash guys like him, 
it gets him really nowhere. He needs to face, you know, to upper stars, you know, throw him in with a Sheamus or throw him in with a Jack Swagger. Um, you, you need to throw him in with, with that upper level superstar and then see where it goes. And then if he starts beating them, then it has to lead to the point where he eventually gets some sort of title shot, whether it be the U.S. title, whether it be the Intercontinental belt, and then possibly maybe eventually the WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. But I've seen this so many times in the past where a guy like this comes in and he just beats everybody and then he just act, absolutely goes nowhere. They don't they don't put him to the test of uh, facing the bigger talent. So I'm waiting to see, you know, basically what the WWE is going to do with this guy. Um, will they eventually put him up against, you know, uh, a larger superstar? And we'll have to wait and see where that goes. Will he get himself on a pay-per-view? Um, you know, a spot on a pay-per-view goes a long way. And we've seen this so many times in the past as well. And how many times, you know, how often, you know, Dolph Ziggler was on pay-per-views for a very long time. I mean, heck, he was he was uh, the world champion. And um, after suffering a concussion by the hands of Alberto Del Rio, and then him losing his title after he came back, he was in the mix for a very short time. And then all of a sudden, he just totally, totally diminished and very rarely do we see the likes of Ziggler on a pay-per-view anymore. So, you know, that's why I'm curious what they're going to do with Alexander Rusev. And with his valet, Lana, I think they could really do a lot with this. But again, it's all in, within, involved in the booking and what the WWE has plans. And, you know, you bring up somebody like that, don't waste the talent. Because we've seen that so many times in the past, where somebody that has got such talent, and then the WWE just, you know, they may start one little push, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. And we've seen this in, you know, like with Big E, um, he got that major push, he won the, um, the Intercontinental title, and he was on... TV quite often when he first got it and uh, defending his belt and then all of a sudden you didn't see much of him and then he loses so you know WWE needs to you know you've got guys with, with titles you need to have them on your pay-per-views and how many times have we seen title holders not on pay-per-views look at Dean Ambrose when he held the US belt he won it back last year, and he might have defended it a couple times on pay-per-views. Other than that, you know, we never saw it. And to me, if you're going to give somebody the belt, make use of it. Um, I mean, to me, it's meaningless if, if the man does not defend the belt. And that's what not that what pay-per-views are all about, is to showcase your guys that have belts for one thing, which I think all title holders should be on a pay-per-view. Um, but we don't see that as often as we used to. So so again, hopefully um, WWE uses Alexander Rusev and Lana in the right way. Hopefully, you know, he ends up facing some bigger stars in the WWE, some bigger talent. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see. So again, I want to thank Gemini888 and BostonFan79V1 for their videos they made yesterday. Um, it was very refreshing coming home like one o'clock in the morning and uh, tuning in and seeing these videos. So that's it for now, guys. It's a Sunday. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and to all the mothers that are no longer with us. Um, they'll always be in our hearts. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.